This is a great time of the year to plant vegetables in the home vegetable garden. And one of my favorite groups of vegetables are called the coal crops. Now the word coal, C-O-L-E, is the old word for cabbage. We still use coal when we talk about coleslaw or cabbage salad. Now these coal crops are all very closely related. They're basically just variations on the same species of plant. We've got collards over here. We've got some cauliflower transplants here in the middle. This is broccoli that you see here, and up here is cabbage. And you're going to notice the resemblance of these young seedlings to each other, and again, that indicates their close relationship to each other. Now, some things about growing the coal crops, of course, they need a bed that's in full sun, like all vegetables, so plenty of sun for these. A well-prepared bed with lots of organic matter. Dig a good two to four inch layer of compost into the bed before you plant to make sure that soil has been really enriched with organic matter and a light application of fertilizers. These coal crops need generous irrigation and regular fertilization. You want them to grow rapidly. Now start off with these young transplants here. Look at these cabbage transplants I've picked out here. These are really larger than what you prefer. So always pick out nice small transplants and even though they're small, space them appropriately. They get to be really large. So cabbage and cauliflower around about two feet apart, collards and broccoli about a foot or so apart, and you'll give them plenty of room to grow and produce. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.